All right, it's been about three days getting some things working. Um, still, I'm kind of in the middle of a, a mess. So right now I can't run the locomotive, uh, but I can leave it on the track. It uh, I don't have the frog juicers hooked up just yet. They're right there, but they're um, not hooked up so that they're going to protect from shorts. And then I run over a turnout. So, um, one thing I wanted to show, uh, let's see. So these lights, these LEDs right here, uh, this is block detection. Um, it's not really set up to do anything yet, um, but the block detection is there. Um, eventually I'll have it hooked up to the computer and I'll, I'll be able to hook up signals and, and various things to it, uh, turn on, uh, crossing signals and, and whatnot when a train enters a block. So here um, is a little example right here. Um, so as you can see, there's no lights on right there. Let me see if I can, I don't know if I can do this well. Get the full range. I'm gonna push this caboose into the block and now watch the LEDs. So you see the LED, well, the LEDs on the caboose are not actually <laughs> connected to the block detection there. There's just no power right here. But when the, when the caboose gets into this section, uh, the block detector is detecting the circuit tree on the caboose. And so it turned on this, uh, it turned on that LED uh, marked for let's see well you can't mark for block five um so here is another demo here's my caboose i'm gonna have to move these into a powered rail soon anyway uh okay i didn't have that switched so let me switch that track that is a uh, turnout number five so on my touch panel switches so now I can roll that on down watch so now it detects it and uh, there we go so that's my block detection um, still got a lot of work to do on that plan on doing the whole layout little blocks here and there got more on order uh, but anyway, um, the touch panel. So right now, this isn't the program that I designed. Uh, this is um, JMRI Panel Pro. I don't like it. Um, I like JMRI as a back-end engine. I don't like its interface. Um, so I'm designing my own interface, but for now, I've got JMRI Panel Pro. Panel Pro up and running one of the things i don't like about it is there's no way to make the uh throttles bigger and i don't like the fact that i have to have the throttle on a separate screen from my touch panel um but here is the throttle for my engine uh i can still control it with my power cab right there but um if this were a little bit bigger, I, I could, uh, I, I don't want to, well, I don't want to move it because it's close to a, uh, a turnout and it, it will short out. Um, but anyway, um, I can turn on the headlight. There it is. The headlight came on. Turned it back off. Okay, well, see, that's the problem. The, the, there's no way to make this bigger, and so I, it's hard to touch the right button. Um, anyway, here's the whistle. And a uh, short whistle. Um, release steam. All right. Um, all right, so here's another throttle. Um, this one controls the hobo box car. Right now there are no lights on, 
So I am gonna turn on the lantern by pressing this button on my touch panel. Lantern, and then there's two more LEDs in there that I can control separately. One lights up the back, the other lights up the front. Can't really tell, um, but anyway, adds a little bit of uh, ambience inside the box car. Um, as far as uh, you saw me throw that uh, switch, I've got all uh, five of my turnouts on this side of the track hooked up to the touch panel so I can control them all. So uh, I'm going to press this one while I, let's see, that is going to be this turnout right here. Watch this go. Let's see. Four. Okay, did that by touching the touch panel. Here's number three. I can do this at the same time. So you can see the turnout is up at the top there. I'm gonna touch number three. It actually says number 13, but it's number three. You probably were looking at my finger. So here, switch it back. See, it's changing. And then uh, number two is right here. It works. Oh, off a little bit. There we go. So that's number two. And uh, number one was uh, over here. All right. All done by touching the touch screen. All right, um, last thing I'll show you. I've got the lights set up so that I can control them from the touch panel as well. So this first one, this first one will turn on the porch lights. I'll get them labeled. Right now, uh, if I just walked up, I wouldn't know which, which light did what. But uh, So I'm gonna turn on the porch light by hitting the button on the touch panel. Porch light came on there we go and I'm gonna turn on I believe this I'm not sure if this is the interior lights or the interior lights but here we go so that was the interior uh, exterior lights now I'll turn on the interior lights so I press them they all light up on my touch panel and uh, uh let's see I opened up something in the back um let's see also got my diner hooked up. Um, I'll turn on the interior lights first. So there they are. And uh, yeah, the exterior lights are kind of funky right now. I haven't uh, fine tuned that yet. Um, but yeah, they're doing that. Um, I want to get them all blinking in a sequence, not all at the same time. Um, they seem to be different every time I power the layout on and off too so that's yeah let me turn it back on one more time well anyway I added more LEDs to that as well so but I don't want them all blinking like that uh, I'll work on it so um, that's that's what I've got here as far as uh, things that I've got going got tomorrow. Uh, let's see. I I also I put together this little box right here. It's just a temporary temporary switch box with a an NCE button board inside, and I, I just hooked up some switches here that I can turn all my I can turn all my turnouts simply by switching them there too they're all okay so now it'll catch up you can hear it going over there yeah now the thing is let me see uh switch number one now when i flip the switch here's an interesting thing when i flip it
Um, oh, I didn't do it. Okay, well, JMRI is supposed to know the position of the switches. Uh, it'll change it if I... See, it changes the icon if I hit it that way. But it's also supposed to know when a third party adjusts it as well. But it's not triggering. Uh, it, it triggers in the interface that I wrote on my, my program. But anyway. Um, okay. It's kind of a long one. It's getting uh, 11 minutes. Uh, so I guess I will end it there. Tomorrow I will work on... Uh, getting those frog juicers working so that I can actually run the train and not uh, blow a circuit. And let me show you actually what happens. Model railroaders all know, but let's see, it's in reverse right now. And bam, just, it just shorted out and tripped my circuit breaker. So it's blinking right there. I think the problem is that I've got the frog juicers on the same circuit. Um, but uh, yeah. I'll fix that tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I'll get this posted. All right. Have a good day.